This is the first time I opened this book. Don't tell me it. <laughs> <laughs> we are descendants of the sun. We spit fire from our tongues and gas. Over lava beats. African drums in the possession of chain hands. Playing chain chants. This is the passion. The lava heats. African slaves Woo! sent to Veracruz, Tabasco, Quintana Roo mm -hmm. mix their spices with the native sugar cane, henceforth the term Afro-Mexican. Father of mine, embra embraced yet ashamed, had no idea of such richness held in the background, or rather, black-brown. He had crossed the border with feet that did not know Africa. But when the coastal drum rhythms tangled in his short afro, el jarabe y meringue twisted from his hips. As generations of the corn husk covering la masa del maíz, he and I are part of this dias diaspora. He and I are part of this exodus. Brown skin cooked well or done over, toasted, roasted, burnt. But the way my mother puts it, some kiss blemish skin, adapted from all this is pure, all that is beauty in their eyes. But living in such a nation where brown should not be black and black should not be brown, I could honestly believe brown is the color of decay, brown is the color of ignorance, brown is the color of shit. But believing that my roots are the roots of poverty, despair, and sin in its own way is poverty, despair, and sin. If anything, like black is beautiful, like black is pure. Brown is a mixture, brown is elegant. Brown is beauty rising over white skin negligence. Without brown hands, green tomatoes, red tomatoes, and orange oranges would stay forever seeds. Without brown lands, this nation is starved from its history. I know the children of the third root are to one day replant the trees shackled and forgotten. I am a descendant of the sun. I spit fire from my tongue and dance over lava beats. More drums in my heart beat. Aztec choreograph choreographs in my movements. I am where the moon and sun align. I am where the sun meets the horizon. I am Afro. Mexican. Yeah.